What's up YouTube, it's David Taylor here with Robo13, and I'm going to be doing a let's play of SimCity. This is just the tutorial right now, I'm just going to do a, a quick let's play of this one, but I'm going to be doing a full series uh, with all my friends and stuff later, and probably actually tomorrow when you guys see this, uh, I'll be recording some new videos. So, hope you guys like this, it's just the tutorial, I'm just going to go through it really quick. I haven't actually played SimCity before, so this is my very first time ever playing SimCity. I used to play Sims, uh, but that's not the same from what I can tell, uh, but you know, I'm just going to play the tutorial, you guys will be able to see this, and hope you guys like this if you guys want me to do more gameplay videos like this i will definitely do this because i'm going to be doing a full series uh on sim city with all my friends uh as well so let's see let's start right here it says welcome dt robo 13 you're the mayor of the summer shoals uh blah 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 press ok to continue all right so let's see zoom in to get closer plus and minus to zoom all right right click and drag the mouse to move the camera around it's pretty cool And I have this on fully high settings. Let me show you guys really quick. Uh, settings, graphics, all on high. Uh, I have the frame rate frame rate cap off as well as VSync is off. Uh, just so you guys can tell, 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz. So this is full settings, and I'm running this on my uh, gaming computer. And I'll actually, I need to give you guys the specs of that and a full overview of that uh, in the future because I promised that, but I never got around to doing that. So I'll definitely uh, get to that when I. Uh, have, have enough time. But let's see. It says, um, there's a sim, sim at Town Hall who needs your help. So I'm going to zoom into Town Hall over here. How do I, how do I, oh, there we go. Okay. Who needs my help? Find Town Hall and click on the speech bubble. There it is. We really need your help. Uh, you may have noticed the protesters of Merrill West Mer terrible state. Uh, we're hoping you can fix this up for us. First, we need to connect the outside world. We're cut off. Nobody can move in. Please fix our highway. Okay. So where's the highway at? Over here. So let's see. I guess we have to build some road. Medium density avenue. Wider roads like avenues can handle more traffic. We'll need an avenue for this vital connection to the region highway. Uh, select a medium density avenue road tool. All right. So let's click this and drag to there. I think it's as simple as that, actually. All right. So let's go back over to her. With the Excel pen <laughs> I love, I've love. i always loved the voices of the Sims in these games. Let's see. Now that you're connected to the highway, there's demand for more houses in the city. People want to move here. These demand bars tell you what your Sims want. Okay, so down here... There are the bars that tell you what they want. Let's see. Sometimes residents will ask for help. Look for speech bubbles around the city to see what your residents need. Click the speech bubble. All right. Hi, Mary. You decide. You decide where Sims can build houses by creating residential zones. Sims will Sims will build houses and move into the residential zones themselves. Could you zone more residential areas? My brother Cliff wants to move in, and I don't want him moving in with me. All right. Let's see. Zones. Draw a residential area. Ta-da! Here comes the construction truck. It's kind of blurry. I wonder why it's all blurry. Let me try to fix that. Hold on. All right, so I am back. Actually, I when I did that, the game uh, minimized, so I had to come back in and restart it. But uh, no big deal. I'm back. I can't figure out this whole blurry thing when I'm really zoomed in, but maybe that's just part of the game where you can't be you can't be that zoomed in. I'm not really sure. I'll try to figure that out. But again, this is the very first time I ever played this. So uh, I just built those residential things. And let's see. Uh, we're moving into the shoals. They don't want to live next to this. Uh, rubble lowers the residential land value and is a fire risk too. Uh, click to select the bulldoze tool. All right, down there. That's cool. It just, <laughs> just explodes the whole Oh, down here too. Is that it? There we go. All right, uh, new shops opening up. Sims are moving in. Let's look at your population. Click the population panel button. This one. Let's see, it looks like your residential population has increased. This panel helps you track your city's growth and overall wealth. Let's choose the population panel for now. Or let's close the population panel, okay. That's pretty cool. It shows you everything that has to do with your city's population, I guess. Uh, there's a factory manager who wants to talk to you about bringing more jobs to Summer Shoals. Click on the speech button to speak with him. 
Hi, Mayor. Uh, okay. Industrial and commercial zoning tools are also found in the zone uh, menu. Click to open the zones menu. Let's see. Let's make some... What do I do here? Factories create freight that it ships to shops. If there isn't enough demand, the factory will go out of business. Click and drag to draw an industrial zone. All right. So let's make an industrial zone. I guess right here. All right. Uh, and factories will lower land value, but an industry will create goods and make your city grow. Okay. Commercial zones where your sim shop and work. Select the blue commercial zone. Let's just make a whole strip right here. How about that? Just like that. There we go. Look at all these cars coming in over here. You don't have to wait all day for businesses to develop. Uh, to develop, you control time. Click once to switch to cheetah speed. All right. Llama speed, cheetah speed. Whoa, that's fast, right? <laughs> this is useful for this is useful for developing a city quickly. For now, let's slow down. Click once to turn to turtle speed. All right, I think we're in turtle speed now. And then one more time to return to llama speed. All right, there we go. All right, let's look at the treasury. Uh, I'm making plus $1,622 per hour, I think. Or is that... Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. This number shows how much money your city is earning per hour. So, yeah. Uh, if this turns red, you know you're in trouble. We're, we're looking good so far. Okay. Uh, with Sims moving in and businesses opening, you should see an increase in the city income. Let's have a look at the city's books. Here's the budget, I believe. Yep. Here you can see all the income and expenses. Keep your income higher than your expenses to stay in the black. Uh, some of those protesters have been grumbling that taxes are too high. We have enough simoleons now. We can play placate. Placate? Placate? I don't know what that is. The masses by lowering taxes. Click to lower the tax rate. Alright, everyone was so everyone was upset about high taxes and should have one less thing to complain about now. Let's close the budget panel for now. Okay, Eva's been clearing her throat all day, or maybe she's just thirsty. Better see what it is. Click the speech bubble. Mayor, we used to have a water tower, but it was destroyed in the storm a few months back. The town's getting thirsty, but they don't like the idea of relying of relying on another water tower. I have just one solution, or I have, I have just a solution. Lucky Shores, the big city just to the west has plenty of water. Head to the region to make a deal with Lucky Shores. All right, so this is, I guess, shows you how you can interact with other regions, which is pretty cool. Uh, here's the region view. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's actually really cool. So there's our region. And that is Great Work Site. Or this region has a, each region has a Great Work Site. Off in the distance, Lucky Shores is nearest big city. Their mayor, uh, Chet Keno, has specialized look, Lucky Shores in gambling. All right, so I guess we need to go talk to them somehow. So we're gonna buy 400 K gals, gallons available at $1 per 0.4 K gallons. All right, that's it. So I guess we're buying it each time per hour, I guess it is, and then you can stop it any time. So now we're buying water. And neighboring cities can sell and gift resources or services to each other. So let's see what everybody else has got. There it is, flowing water under the roads. Water is essential for your cities. Without water, business uh, will close and Sims will move away. Alright, what's in here? Coal power plant. So we need to go get some coal, I'm assuming. Here's the power plant. Uh, it provides power to the summer shoals if it works well, or it works well. But right now we're out of coal, so the city isn't powered. Click to select the coal power plant. All right. And let's see. Click accept global coal deliveries. So now there's a coal truck coming. There it is. Deliver coal to the power plant. Once it arrives, the power plant will start to, to deliver power to the city. That's pretty cool. I don't know, I really don't understand this whole blurry thing. It looks really blurry right there. If you guys know anything about this stuff, post a comment down below uh, so I can fix that for future videos. Right, so there we go, and now it's powered up and it looks like we are giving power to the city. That's actually a really cool animation.
Alright, we are no longer in the dark, but now Eve is worried about crime. We should check in with her, alright? Mayor, I'm up to my neck in complaints and calls. We had, to, we had to close the police station to save some money. How do you close the police station? Alright, so it looks like we need to open up the police station. And open. There we go. Good thing you got the police station working. There's a crime in progress right now. The criminals are up to no good. This is pretty cool. Why is it so blurry? Oh, are they robbing a business? Uneducated and unpoid sims may turn a life of crime. This starts out as a simple shoplifting and it left unchecked can develop into troublesome crimes. Get those crooks. Police respond to crimes in progress and patrol the neighborhood around the station to keep an eye out for criminals. Hey, what's the smell? Eva has an idea. Head to the town hall. Oh, the town stinks. It's about garbage. We didn't even do anything with those people who were robbing the business. Select the garbage truck. And follow. Oh wait, I can actually hear- Oh wait, wait, what's go- wait, wait, what's going on over there? Where's the business? There it is. I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> I think they arrested them. Yep. Uh, I don't really know. I have no idea what just happened. Okay, so let's uh, let's just continue with this. There seems to be a foul scent in the air. You should check in with Eva. Looks like sewage problems. I don't think the sink was garbage. We have another smelly problem running right through our roads, or right under our roads. Sewage, yes it is. All right, let's get the sewage problem fixed. So let's get the pipe going. So looks like we need to pipe in these areas right there. I think that was it. What does this do over here? Click the ground pollution map button. That one? So the sewage outflow pipe is adding ground pollution here. This will lower land values near the pollution, preventing wealthy sims from moving there. Let's close the data map for now. Alright. Let's close that. We're needed again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is the house on fire? We need to put out the fire. Alright. We haven't even made a- oh god, this town is- let's put it right there. This town has had nothing this entire time. I guess that's why it's a tutorial. <laughs> Alright, so there's less protesters now. That's good. Actually, I want to go check out that fire. Are they uh, putting out the fire? These controls are a little strange. How do you? How do I send those people there? Closed. Open. Oh no! No no no! Now it's open. I don't want to edit it. Get out of here. There they go. I wanted to watch this really quick. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so I guess they automatically respond to things. I wonder if there's like a specific radius. So like, will this, will this fire station help somebody out that's like way over here? I'm not really sure about that. Did they put this out yet? Oh. Alright, let's just continue with this, I guess. Click once to select the grade school. Where do I... What am I clicking on? This? Okay. You can use the modules to improve your buildings. These are useful for increasing capacity, improving responsiveness, increasing efficiency, and more. So let's edit this, and it looks like we're going to be adding in a new module. 
So that will increase the size of the school, I'm assuming. That is a that is fire is taking forever. All your sims have their own homes. Go to work and try to make themselves happy. You can click on any sim and see what they are doing. Okay. I'm going to click on... Oh, maybe I can't. Click on the happiness. That one. That's cool. Everybody's happy. Yay. <laughs> Close this. Alright, I'm kind of just flying through this because I really don't know how to play this, but I'm going to be playing with my friends and seeing how uh, they play. Click on the workers button. Uh, click the low wealth workers map button. So this one. The large arrow shows the direction uh, our commuting workers are traveling to Lucky Shores. Okay. Let's go check out Lucky Shores and see how Mayor Chet Keno is, has laid out his city. Alright, let's go check them out. Visit. That's pretty cool. So I guess this is how you do the whole multiplayer thing. Each person will have their own city and go and visit each other's cities and that kind of stuff and help each other out. Alright. What's that in the sky? What is that in the sky? What's going on? What, what is happening? Are those meteors? Is it a meteor shower? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. They just destroyed the town hall. As well as the... I don't even know what that was. That was the town hall. Um. Um. What am I supposed to do? Oh no, it's more! Oh my god. Holy crap. It just destroyed the building. Caused too much sewage. What do I do? Oh, nope, I don't want to knock on their doors. Oh, there we go. Oh no, we better get out of here. Alright. Oh, okay, so I guess we just left the city. <laughs> Didn't even bother helping them. Ooh, that was close. We should talk to Eva. Okay. Well, that's terrible news about Lucky Shores, Mayor. I hope there wasn't too much damage. I sent a fire truck over there as soon as I heard. Oh, so that's cool. You can send you can send like your own people over there to help other people out. Uh, thank you. I've done a remarkable job. You should go start a fresh region and build your very own city from scratch. So I guess that's it. I guess that's it for the whole tutorial. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think. I will be doing a full uh, let's play of this with my friends. We'll be building our own cities and all that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully we'll start tomorrow and maybe there'll be a video up uh, the day after that. And just let me know if you guys want to see more of these kind of videos. I'll definitely do these. I'm going to be doing a lot more gameplay videos. I'm still thinking about moving my Minecraft videos over to this channel. So let me uh, know once again in the comments down below. This will be all one video. So this will probably be a pretty long half hour long video or so. So hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys.